Do you have a problem with the dog chasing the cat? In this video, I'm going to be showing you the five steps to finally solving this problem. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. In this edition of Energy Secrets, I'm gonna be discussing a problem that I currently have. Little friendly Tula here. She likes to chase, in particular, she likes to chase the cat. Murray, as you guys can see, is pretty relaxed. He's pretty confident. Yeah. But as soon as he moves, especially, you know, if we haven't been paying a lot of attention to Tula, she hasn't had enough exercise, I mean, Tula wants to chase her. You know, it's gotten to the point where like, I gotta do something about this, because it's just, I'm yelling at Tula, it's not a pleasant scene or overall, it's not obviously pleasant for Murray. If you're having these same issues in your own house, I encourage you to try uh, some of the following tips. Ready? Come here. Get it. Give me your stuffy. Come back here. Right. As you can see, we also need to work on training. So the first thing is regular exercise. I mean, anytime you've got a dog that's exercised more regularly, you know, majority of those behavioral problems really sort of dwindle down and they're so much more easier to manage. Likewise, the same thing with Tula. I mean, if she's got regular exercise, she's tired, you know, she's far less likely to want to chase the cat. She doesn't chase the cat as much. And, you know, she's much more amenable to hearing us as far as like, don't chase the cat. She's like, okay, I'm cool with it. Second, it's a redirection. So as soon as you sort of catch your dog, <coughs> just about to start to chase your cat, like even you're showing the intent of wanting to chase their cat, you've got to like redirect them. One of the big, big things, you know, is watching your dog, you know, turn their head and stare. Like, you know, they're thinking, they're on alert. You know, with Tula, her little tail straight up, she's like, oh, I'm ready to go for the chase. As soon as you see that, you want to redirect them and like give them something positive. So imagine little Tula is showing a whole lot of interest. She's staring at the cat who's right in front of us. And you know, I catch her you know, staring right at it, like her tail up as it is now, her ears up. I'm like, gonna say her name, like Mike Clapton. Say I let her name in a loud voice, Tula. Give her a bit of a clap. And then she's gonna look at me. And then you're like, good girl. And give her a little treat. Mm. Like redirection, you just want to discourage what's happening, break the pattern before it leads into a chase. The third is correction. Let's just say you've gotten to the point where your dog is actually off chasing your cat. It's not something harsh, but something that they need to know like, oh, I've done something wrong. And there's a consequence for that. So with little Tula, for instance, it's as much as me just raising my voice. And, you know, she really reacts to that. So if she does choose to zoom after the cat, when my voice gets raised in a loud way. Now I just have to yell like, Tula, no! And she'll stop. So often just the loud voice is enough to stop her. Another good idea would be, especially if you're, you're really serious about retraining your dog, is getting something on them so you can grab them, you know, such as a leash or something. Because, you know, when your dog is in full flight, I mean, it's really difficult. And with Tula, when her mind's set, she's going full force at the cat or something else. I mean, it's hard to change it. But at least you can at least grab onto her and definitely stop the behavior you're trying to stop. Then after with Tula, I mean, I, I'm not, you know, mean about it. I just then put her in a, a space separate from us. So I, I put her into the boot room for a few minutes, a little bit of a timeout. I'm gonna hear you, boot room. And not chase the cat anymore. Come here. Come here. Tula, come. Tula, come here. Come on. Tula, come. Number four, just some basic obedience training. And you know, I'm probably not the best person to give you the most solid advice on that. Because I have a little dog who's probably not the most well-trained, or at least as well-trained as she could be. 
but just, you know, go back to the basics. Ideally, it's going to be, you know, when you ask your dog to come, they actually come when called. Um, there's also a specific command where you can say, like, leave it. This is going to like, leave the stuffy, you know, leave whatever you've been focused on. But that really takes a lot of time and patience. You know, ideally, I really encourage all of you to go through, you know, an experienced dog trainer, especially if you're dealing with a challenging problem such as this. I mean, by all means, try these steps, but really go back to focus on obedience, obedience basics. God, I need to show you my pathetic come when called command with Tula. Okay, let's just try it again. Tula, Tula, come. Good girl, you came. Oh, good girl, there. And it's half the time I like, use the command, Tula, come. And she looks the other way and she picks up a stick and she goes the other way. Not really the behavior I'm trying to establish. My God, this is how it's always like. Not, they're just staring at me. Murray wants food. I think Tula does too. And, and the fifth one is just rewarding your dog. You know, when they're in the presence of your cat, and they're not on alert, they're not on guard, they're not trying to chase them, and they're acting somewhat calm which I really haven't done as a good a job with Tula because there's times where she's around Murray and things seem to be okay. She has no interest in you know, chasing him, which is another just good common sense. So have a little stockpile of treats. You know, make it a positive experience. Like you're around the cat, you're calm, you get rewarded. Tula's together, Murray's together. <gasps> good girl, Tula. So oh, good girl. All right, I also have to reward Murray who also loves protein. Yes, Murray, good boy. But that's a big thing, you know, she's just getting positive rewarded for like being hanging around Murray and good girl and you're not chasing Murray. Nice. Just a bunch of good common sense things that I think some of you guys can apply. I can apply myself and hopefully have a better trained dog who's and we're having a more enjoyable experience with our dog and our cat together in the same household. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click up there to subscribe to my channel. Click down there to like this video. And then when you click the link further in the box below, I can send you my free books and my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.